Ant, that was quite the reversal from just last Sunday. What, in what ways do you feel like you guys were significantly better to kind of flip the result? Um, I don't know, man. Um, we got to go back and watch the film. But uh, I think um, Jaden did a great job tonight. Even Cat. Cat did a great job. Durant made a lot of tough shots, which he's been doing his whole career. Um, but other than that, I think we did a good job as a group tonight. Finch said this felt like the urgency and desperation you guys showed in the first couple months of the season. Is that comparable, I guess, how you guys felt tonight defensively, loose balls? Yeah, for sure. Thing? I mean, everything. We was we was going after everything, every rebound. Um, Rudy was at the rim the entire night. He was switching on guards, moving his feet, getting steals. It was it was fun to watch Rudy go out there and showcase um, the defensive player of the year stuff. So it, it was dope. And I think uh, Mike met with you guys uh, earlier this week. Just how much did it mean to you to hear him talk about how much this means to him? Uh, it meant a lot, man, knowing that um, he, I think he said he hasn't been to the conference finals since he was 24. So um, that's crazy, man, knowing he, he's like 36. So you don't know how many chances you get at going to the conference finals and competing at the highest level. So you got to take advantage of the ones that you got. And um, his, his pitch was pretty much um, this might be one of the best teams he've, he's been a part of, and, and he think we got a chance, and we can't take it for granted. And I think everybody liked it. What goes through your mind during those sport spurts, like the end of the third quarter? Like, what is going through your mind during that time? Um, nothing really going through my mind. It's just I'm out there just having fun, man. I'm yeah. I mean, that's it. How big an impact did uh, Nikhil make on this game, man? I'm looking at his plus minus. He was a plus twenty eight on the floor. Um, I think he was an MVP tonight. Um, he made every play that we needed, offensively and defensively. The little back and forth with Kevin Durant there in the third quarter. How fun is that, and what do you make of the atmosphere tonight? Um, I think everybody here knows that's my favorite player of all time, so that was probably one of the best feelings ever in my whole life, for sure. And kind of worked your way through the game, a couple turnovers early, kind of got to the mid-range. Did that kind of open things up for you to make that, that third quarter run? Yeah, for sure, man. Getting to, getting to my mid-range, getting to my spots, is, is always it always helps me with my three-pointer because – you know, it, it, it shows me how far the rim is and how much I got to put on it. So uh, those mid-range shots that I made early definitely kept me in rhythm. You guys played like you were not only focused but, but angry. Uh, you, disappointed that you didn't win number one in the West, and is that part of your fuel for th that effort tonight? No, nah, not at all. Um, we just wanted to show that we was the most desperate team tonight. Um, nothing about number one or number two or number three. Um, these guys came in here and whooped us um, in our home court the last game of the season and was, was giggling, laughing, you know. I mean, like Bill said, he, he told our coach that he don't think we play hard enough, and he was right, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Finchie didn't like that. He came in um, the next day and was like, man, you got guys on the other team telling me that y'all don't play hard enough for me, and he was totally right. Like, we was out there just running around, letting them doing what they want to do, man. And, um, that's a great team, man. All three of those guys, they're great players, man. It's going to be hard to beat these guys. we got to bring it every night. It's just one game. They're going to be ready to go the next time we play them. Uh, speaking of that, Ant, uh, there are a lot of ups and downs uh, uh, in a series like this. How do you guys maintain that intensity that you had tonight? How do you bring that in game two? I mean, if we want to win, we have to. That's that's the main thing. Uh, that's all it is. It's, it's that easy. Um, if we want to win, we maintain the same. We don't even maintain. We bring more. If we want to lose, we come out and play how we played at the last game of the season. It's just that simple. Anthony, when when you're out there with uh, Kevin Durant, can you see or hear the, the playoff experience that he has? Do you sense a level of poise that you hope to get this? Yeah, man, did you see him in the third quarter? Uh, like, I felt like we were supposed to be up 15-18 in the third quarter early. And if I'm not mistaken, he made four or five straight buckets, like like it was nothing. Um, and I became a fan at one point. Like it, I was out there, like God damn, he nice. Like it's, it's nothing we can do. It's like it's nothing we can do. Cat was playing great defense. Rudy was playing great defense. And it's just like he don't see you. Like I'm looking at the stat sheet. He was 11 for 17. He missed six shots and had 31. He just, I mean, he's the greatest to ever do it, man. He's big, big. My hat tilts to him. He's the best. And a couple of days ago, you talked about Cat perhaps needing to be the series MVP of this series. But in, in the first game here, he looked awfully comfortable. Well, from your vantage point, how good did he look? How much of a lift did he give you guys today? Um, he played the game clean. He, he played it the right way. He defended very well. Um, and he did everything we needed him to do. He rebounded. He sprinted the floor. He, he got it to the corner. He wasn't cutting when he didn't need to. He did everything perfect tonight. Um, and like I said, to me, he's still the reason we won. He, the first half, I mean, I was non-existent. He, he, he held us on, he carried us on his back. So, yeah, thank you, Cat. 
when you're facing that double team and the gap help, how much do you want to probe first and how much do you want to immediately get off and how much do you want to vary it? What I want to score. So I think that pretty much sums up your answer. I want to score, but um, it definitely takes away my scoring ability. Um, and they do a great job of doing it, man. Um, they throw it they throw it in every once in a while. And um, I think after I made a couple, they start just double teaming all the time. And um, Frank Vogel is great at taking somebody out of the game. And I feel like they did that in the fourth. And But my teammates came through big time for me. With 26 team assists tonight, tonight to that point, do you feel like even when you're not scoring the basketball that you're still an elite offensive generator with the way that they have to guard you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, because it's just a simple pass. I mean, they're putting two on me. If, if, if I can't make a simple pass, I don't need to be out there on the floor. Um, they're putting two on the ball. And Nikhil, Jay, Cat, Nas, Rudy, they're, Mike, they're open. So I got to make those. I got to get the, the ball to those guys. You once famously said that they've got Kevin Durant, but we've got Jaden McDaniels. What's it like to have a teammate that can basically be like a shutdown corner in football out there? Man, it's, it's, it's great, man. Um, but once again, it's just one game, and we didn't shut down Kevin Durant. So, um, yeah, Kevin Durant is the greatest. We didn't shut him down. Let's get that straight. But uh, Jaden is, is, to me, it's, it's him and Rudy for defensive player of the year, if you ask me, because Jaden has, has took players out of the game on multiple occasions. Um, and he just he, he, he do a great job of using his length um, and not fouling. Like, um, so big shout-out to him, man. Last question to you played a lot of minutes this year, a lot of games. What did this last week do for you physically to maybe just have a few days off here and there? Nah, it wasn't no days off, man. I feel like I got in the best shape of my life this week. Yeah, um, <laughs> Finchy ass was, was, was running me through all type of actions, double teams, triple teams, quadruple teams. So, I mean, I feel like I got in the best shape of my life, man. I was out there. I started the fourth. I played the whole third, started the fourth, and I really wasn't gassed. So, I, I, I thank my coaches, man, to the to – the, best of my ability I, I appreciate them man put me in the right positions and not worry about if i'm tired or not because this week man they really pushed me and i needed that